So imagine you're a typical bus taker. You're standing on the side of the road and you're looking, when is the bus coming? When is the bus coming? There's a lot of stress involved in that. And if the bus is five minutes late, that can be a big deal. If it's 20 minutes late, it can be a really big deal. Bus schedules attempt to be accurate and bus drivers aim to arrive on time, but they can't always predict unforeseen circumstances like accidents or heavy traffic. And for the rider, irregularities in service can be frustrating. In 2008, two University of Washington grad students came up with a plan, give riders a leg up by pinpointing bus locations in real time. Brian Ferris and Kerry Watkins combined their computer science and civil engineering skills to develop the web and mobile service One Bus Away. One Bus Away is a set of tools for public transit riders here in the Seattle, Tacoma, and the Puget Sound region that really helps focus on making it easier to ride the bus. As a rider, you can use your computer, smartphone, or any old cell phone to access One Bus Away. And you'll know your bus is on time or running late. On the website, onebusaway.org, you can enter your stop location to find out when buses are coming. On your cell phone, you can text or call to get arrival information. For a basic cell phone user, you can call 206-456-0609, and uh, it'll say, where is your bus? Let's find out. And then you can uh, look for your stop number posted at the stop, and it'll ask you to enter that stop number. You just punch it into your phone, and it'll start reading to you real-time arrival information about the buses serving that stop. It'll tell you that the 372 will be here in five minutes, or that the 65 will be here in 10 minutes. For smartphone users, the mobile app has been by far the most popular feature all over the Puget Sound area. So we have close to 50,000 unique users a week who use One Bus Away, and the, the iPhone app, the Android app, are certainly popular. So even though we try to support riders from all walks of life, certainly the fancier phone, the app is really popular with those riders. Brian brought the technical know-how to One Bus Away, and Carrie provided the expertise of transit systems. So it'll, it'll depend on what kind of screen they get. Mm -hmm. you know, Beyond I, creating the service, the they conducted studies and surveyed riders to find out how real-time transit information affects riders and changes behaviors. So there's a lot of research out there that says that when we're in a waiting situation, we don't perceive that time is passing as it is. You feel like instead of five minutes is going by, you feel like that's 10 minutes, typically. Even if you have to stand at the bus stop and wait for the bus, no matter when it's coming, if we can tell you that it's you know five or 10 minutes away as opposed to you not knowing, it just removes a lot of stress, a lot of frustration. It just makes you a happier rider. And happier riders are more likely to take the bus instead of their cars. Not surprisingly, Brian and Carrie share this experience. Well, it's funny, on, you know, if, on the days that one bus away goes down for a server glitch or something, I don't even know how to get home. I forgot, you know, I've forgotten what I used to do before real-time information. I'm just like, where, paper schedule? How do, I, how do I find this? For me personally, I used to be a sometimes transit user, sometimes car user, and since having the power of one bus away, I have started to use my car less and less. And I travel with two young kids. I have a five-year-old and a seven-year-old. So when I'm doing trips, it's not just me with a lot of flexibility. It's two kids who are waiting at the stop with me. As students do, Brian and Carrie have graduated from the University of Washington and are moving on to new adventures. Brian will be working in Zurich, Switzerland on Google's transit team. Carrie has accepted an assistant professor position at Georgia Tech. We look at like our cities and we look at trying to make them sustainable. You know, you can never put down enough pavement such that everyone can drive. If you're a strong car advocate and you, you, know, you, you never get on a bus in your life, I always say, well, think of it this way. The more people you help to ride the bus, that's less traffic that you have to deal with yourself. So, you know, it's a win-win for everybody.